when I went to court to, to save the Peterson, or to prevent the Peterson's development, one of the things we argued on was cultural landscape uh, surrounding the, um, the vineyard out there. But could I just mention very quickly to show you how things have changed, and this particularly relates to employment in secondary industry. For instance, it was already been, already been mentioned about the wheat farms. At one stage, we had uh, flour mills at Tamworth, Walker, Bendemere, Urala, Armidale, uh, Gleninus, Tenerfield, and uh, Inverell. So that really means this was a major wheat centre. Now, once the railway, of course, it could bring in Adelaide or South Australian wheat, uh, which proved better quality, but also the cost factor. We had a broom factory. We had a broom factory in West Armidale. Uh, with a broom factory, of course, that means you're growing um, millet for that. We had a tannery, which was burnt down in 1913. But all these things are causing employment related to that industry. Of course, we've got to all remember the cordial factories, mm. because in the early days, water was so poor that the first thing uh, country towns did was develop a cordial factory. Um, <laughs> we had a butter factory, and, and that, of course, which relates to the, to the number of dairy farms, particularly the soldier settlers, because they had to get cash crops uh, there. We had navy beans up in, uh, and we still have the shed as you come in, from Gaira, the big shed on the right-hand side there uh, was built during the wartime with American lend lease money, and that was part of the war effort there. We had a brewery. Now, our brewery actually lasted to 1917, and the reason why breweries were killed off is because Tooths and Tuies negotiated with the government uh, to provide cheap transport uh, too. So, so if you think skullduggery goes on in <laughs> present politics, I can assure you it's always uh, been there. And of course, we had a soap factory up at uh, Markham Street, uh, just opposite the uh, swimming pool. So all those types of things actually created employment, and they, of course, were related back to the agricultural scene. Great, thanks, Graham. Yes. Just a quick question.